Welcome to episode 20 of this Let's Play series of playing Distant Worlds 2. And when we last left it, the mighty 7th Super Fleet was uh, just of three ships, actually, but still ancient ancient designs, ancient Boscaran designs are coming in to finally attack the Uberdan 4 mining station, which is back over here. And that little number, that, that one on the end there, that little white dot with the 886, 888, that's Caribbean Spice. This is the Spice World of the Boscarans. So we're going to sort of uh, destroy this one, take it down. Uh, there we go, we're sort of now using the, um, looks like some sort of rail gun. Maybe it's not a rail gun, actually, I forget what, they've, what they're firing. It looks like a rail gun. Ah, we found another Boscaran. <laughs> we don't know where that one actually is. In the Dilat system, not sure where that is. Sorry, it's a bit of noise outside. I hope it's not too noisy for you. There we go, we've intercepted that one. And we'll just come in, basically, they, I'll just speed it up to normal time now. And here we go. Destroy this thing nice and quickly. And that's the end of the spice. Okay, so the spice is now sort of, uh, well, that's the that's the end of their, actually, here we go. Our agent has evaded detection after successfully carrying their mission to steal the territory map of the Akdarian Confederacy. Now, this is interesting. New leader for the Boscaran Empire. Okay, so we did destroy, we must have, we must have bombarded and destroyed the leader at some point with the previous bombardments. Now, in the last episode, we also had to escape from the home system. So we've actually now sort of moved away from the home system. We've just I wanted to take this world out just to, just to cause issues. And I do want to destroy this world here. I actually want to blast this one completely apart. Uh, this one looks like it's got the only base. Maybe this one has been rebuilt in the meantime. Um, we're not at war with the Boscarans, but we might as well be. With the way that we're sort of carrying on and and our um our reputation is still going it's still pretty bad not as bad as what it was but we're no longer bombing that particular world now we're going to bomb this world completely to nothing so that's going to be destroyed um yeah we are going to eradicate the bugs from this area of space and then we're going to take over these systems i'm not don't know whether i should keep some of the bugs so we've actually got them as a um like subjugated now there's another got pirate bases down through this way as well Actually, have I spun this one around? There we go. That's the that's the normal way of looking. Okay, so um, seventh, the mighty seventh. Do we go back in again? Do we destroy these as we find them? There's a fair few of them there, and they're not going to know where we are. I don't think. What I might do is I might bounce into the Ubus system cause some issues let's go and destroy this one this is their home worlds so the home world is back over here let's just go straight for that particular station draw them all back in this way and then we'll zip it back across this way so we'll get the eighth and uh, this one is still waiting just to it actually still hasn't arrived back there yet properly just got the refuelers back over here it's funny it's sort of it's left this one alone. Oh, well, not, well, that's because we're not at war with it. Where are they off to go? What's it going to go and do? Are we going off to get the secret something or other? It's under construction. I have no idea what they were going to go and attack. I'm not seeing secret anything. No idea. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Here's a destroyer. Well, maybe we take them back to here. It looks like they've they've now left again. They haven't built anything back. Um, they've got a fair bit of population back, or not a lot, but they've got some population back. 
and they've got 1% back from their planet as well. And they're building up, so let's bring the 8th back in again. And so let's now go back into this particular area. We'll bombard that location. So we'll move back again with the, uh, with the fleet. The 7th. So the spies are now sort of out and about, which is good. I've just got them on auto. I'm happy enough for them to do that. Now yeah, we've got other attack. Yep, this one's disabled. So we'll finish off the work that we started <laughs> so long ago in the last episode. Now we may not, hopefully we can, whatever we have to deal with, we're going to be able to deal with uh, piecemeal. Yeah, they still haven't got any infrastructure in here at all. There we go. That's now been destroyed. Anything else in this system that... Um, what have we got over... Oh, that one's just travelling through with hyperspace. Okay, these will do. So the 8th is coming back. And I'll just use, as soon as they bring back their fleets again, we'll probably then zip across to here and then start to bombard these. So let's just keep everything sort of active while we're hidden here. So their, their main fleets have now disappeared again somewhere. Now they're back at war over here. And that may be the, that may be where they're, actually they're not there. We, otherwise we, we would know. we would know. Now we've nearly got system governance and then we've got officer training after that which we don't need. Um, what should we get next? We can get fast mining. We haven't had a need for it. The damage control would be good. Um, even to get the multi-role starships, it's only six and a bit years. That gives us a light cruiser. Might go that way, actually. Let's go and get that. Okay, Boscara Hive and the Mortland Empire are at war. It's the Boscara Empire, not the Boscara Hive. make life very difficult for their traders to um, to be able to like it's going to take a long time to get through the the resources that are on the um, on the planet now, where's these other attacks going in okay we're getting long-range scanners now now we've got a long range scanner back there. Um, what I might do is I might just quickly go back in and redesign what we've got in through this side as well with the um, with the ship designs. Now we've got, if we have a look at the what we are manually designing, we have, um, now they've got the SSP, sorry, I'll just go to the active buildable. This is, uh, I wish this was the default actually. Uh, we've got the SSP construct and we've got the SSP shield. Now the shields, it's going to be fairly important if we just do an upgrade of those and that's just going to upgrade the componentry that is there. Uh, if we have a quick look down through these, these areas, we actually have small starfighter bays and one large starfighter bay there. And we have all of these other locations, including a couple that are like 120. So if we go to the long range uh, scanners. Oh, hang on. We don't have long range scanners. Oh, we don't need it in that case. Cancel. We, don't, we won't worry about that one. I thought we had it. <laughs> That's right, we don't even have the research for it, so we can't we can't even get them yet. Anyway, let's continue on. So the seventh, they're just gonna keep on attacking these different stations. System governance. And then we get the light cruisers. We're doing very well. This surprise attack has actually really 
helped us a lot, but there's still these massive fleets that the um, that the Boscarans still have. Now they have to somehow pay for those fleets. And it'll take a long time, but we will eventually wear them right down. As soon as we start to see other fleets arrive, we'll then sort of uh, decamp and go elsewhere. Not sure what's um, what we've got that actually is giving us the long range scanners. Oh, Mahala Station. Yeah, that one's got the long range scanner. That's what these these are in here. Just special special locations and similarly back and through this side. Very, very large location in there. And they're just gonna literally just go through and gobble up. start again our arch enemy now we're jumping through the fuel again That's we're going to get this nice and fast. Okay, so we've now taken over Rainfall Station. Oh, so we picked that up when we actually got the last one. So this is actually now takes us even further across, which is pretty damn good. Um, yeah, we we went for the, we went to this one ourselves. But we've actually now got the advanced bombardment with the atomic devastator. Uh, we didn't actually we just picked that one up when we got that other station. Now this is the annihilation bombardment. So this is a neutron exterminator. And when we have a look at this one, it does um, fifty damage against military, and it does twelve damage against population, as opposed to. Uh, 40 damage against military and only 6 against population. I won't worry about getting that one, but um, yeah, that's interesting. That is interesting. I mean, we do want to eradicate, but we can do that one slowly as long as we can destroy the, um, the, the, the forces that are coming now. Here comes the 8th, so they're, they're now arriving back in. The refuelers are coming in behind them, and uh, we just need to now sort of stay here. So that one's now been destroyed. We'll just go back up this way. Then go off. Yeah, the second is good enough at the stage. Yeah, we've still got a lot of fleets sitting back at the back before we go to the seventh and eighth, which are the ones that are now going to be attacking these these areas. Here comes the eighth. So we'll just go back to our bombardment. Yeah, we should. Yep, that's okay. By a car, we'll probably lose that facility, but um, we will have other forces that can then go and help that one. Well, economically, we're we're making life very, very difficult for them. And now we go in with the um, with these this big fleet. Now we've got more ships than what we were here last time, so we're going to be able to do this a bit faster. They do actually have more troops now on the ground again, and they've got a few more extra people here as well, a few more important uh, guys. They've got a cloning facility and the administration centre, so we'll blow them up as well. But it will take some time. Now the seventh, almost finished its job there. Right, so we'll bring the seventh now back. In fact, if I leave that up there and 
until the other ships arrive. If I can get rid of them piecemeal, that would be awesome. Let's just wait until the refuelers do their job. Here we go. <coughs> We're now bombarding the colony. Uh, all right, so the people are sort of targeting us a little bit in through here. Now that last one that we got, where was that? Now that's one that we should have been doing that one, that frigate. Built Silent Cataclysm. Now this is something that um, I should have been uh, blasting these away. Now we were we were doing this one. This so this is this is one of the little bugs in the game to get around this because we were getting that one. Now this one is still a little way off. Um, and we've got these ships in here, which we have to then get rid of. Now that one is building the prime courage, which is this one down in here. So this was this was technically ours. So we're just going to go back across to the game menu. We're going to go to settings and um, sorry, game editor. We're going to click on that one and change that one from the Boscara Empire, who didn't earn it, across to us, who did. So that's all we need to do there. Exit the editor, and um, now I'm going to keep this one on manual. Actually, where's it going? It's going over there. That's all right. Now this is the first. This one's not really strong enough to send in with the others. I'll just leave it on auto. Definitely don't want the Boscarans in there picking up those ships. Now the seventh is still not fueled up yet. Nothing else in here just yet. So we are bombarding away. Yeah, we're getting rid of a lot of their okay, that's that's getting rid of a lot of stuff in here now. And we're now sort of ripped through the population fairly quickly. Now um, six is moving down there. The first disabled <laughs> God, I think we ended up doing more damage here than we, we should have yeah we are that carrier and this one as well unfortunately okay um, just missed that one we'll just go back to the seventh So they're now all fueled up. There's still nothing here. I'll just keep the seventh back where they are, back back up there. They're down to two and a half billion now. So this is now getting down into small planet territory. through the population now. There's nothing else in the system. This is good. Under two billion. Got 
gotten rid of all of the um, infrastructure on the planets. Oh, here we go. Bring the seventh in. Is it part of it? Yeah, the third fleet. Okay, the third fleet must be coming in to try to to help out. Stay in here for a little bit longer. Must have the bloom effect. I normally turn that run right down. I don't really like it in the game. It's just too much. I don't mind it with what's happening here, to be honest, but um, quite often I don't really like it. Okay, we'll investigate that one. So we've now acquired this one. Good. So that's a bat way back over there. That's good stuff. Dismiss and decline. Oh, here they come. Now the seventh. Oh, don't tell me it's got a no mission again. All right, so uh, we're down to one billion. Wow. We have really smashed this. So the seventh. Oh, out there, they've chased them away. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to move it in close. The eighth is still doing okay here. Just clipping into the into the planet. Okay, we're under. We're nearly under one billion. Here comes the seventh, the mighty seventh. piecemeal like this we can destroy ships and they're not going to have much of an opportunity to rebuild them. This works well for us. That frigate on the way. And we're going back for bomb bombing again. Protect their backs. Good. Okay. Boscara consciousness. So we're finding even more Boscarans. Now, what this may be, uh, it's the same, unfortunately, it's the same flag. It's another problem with the game is that they don't have a way to differentiate the flags. Now, it's still the same big, same empire in through here. That's okay. We'll just leave that where that is. Yeah, we should have this system should actually be destroyed very very soon. Just need to destroy those people there, and that's it. That's the end of the Boscaran homeworld. And they haven't brought enough ships back now to be able to protect it. And so the Eighth Fleet got a little bit of damage done to there, but nothing much really. So we've got all eight, all eight. Bombers are, um, are are doing the damage here. They're full fleet. Here we go. All these characters are are being destroyed. This is what happens when you take the Tekans on. <laughs> they're they're a floating junkyard. It's sort of funny, like imagining that like the you know, Boscar and Hive ships are. Um, coming up against super weapons of their own design um, you know, and it's actually if we've just been able to destroy a planet by protecting our bomb fleet, like our junkyard fleet with these particular ships. Very cool. You know, are we going backwards there? Yeah, we're 
down to the last few. This is like a new colony now. Still got characters there. Yeah, bought a car, that's alright. Okay, 90 million. We're eradicating the bugs on this world. million. Well, they didn't come back. Twenty five million. Our reputation isn't terrible. It's sort of funny. I, I thought it should really be a lot worse than that. Five million. Two million. One million. That's zero. Oh, here we go. We've got other ships now coming back in. This is now a dead planet, basically. It's um, there's no Boscarans living there anymore. They've, they've been completely eradicated. Uh, all of their leadership has now been destroyed as well. And um, we do actually have frigates and things coming in now. Is this part of the of any fleet? No, it's not. So this is just a, a lone ship. So what we'll do is we'll now just go and get the 8th fleet, which is still fairly healthy. And we're now going to send it off to bombard the Karelia system. Now it's going to take a little while for this one to get here. So we're going to just tell it to bombard this. That'll be the next victim for us. And um, what we'll then do is uh, we'll get the, uh, where are we, get our seventh fleet to destroy this ship, which won't take very long. And we'll then head off to beat it to the Karelia system. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a spaceport here. I, would, I thought I would have seen it because it, it does branch off like this. Okay, so this is now gone. The, um, the Odan system has been... Oh, sorry, it's not even the Odan system. It's the Uber system is now in control of our, uh, of our ally. Now, we still haven't... I th this, hey, there we go. We've killed uh, Jex uh, Mer Mer Mary, the leader of the Boscara Empire. And... Um, there should be more repercussions. You shouldn't actually be able to bombard like this if you are, um, unless you're at war. I think I might sort of put that in as a, in as, as a suggestion because it's sort of too much of an exploit. They're not they're not declaring war back, and it should we should have to declare war to be able to do this. Now we're nearly out of time. Yep, the seventh super fleet is leaving the location, and off we go. Now that should definitely put a dent in the um, in the victory conditions. Where are they now? Yeah, here they are, down here. Okay, so that's the Boscara Empire. We're still not up the up the top. We're finding other other um, groups that have actually made it to the top. There it is. There it is. Oh, 
a lot of a lot of resource shortages. We can't actually see what they've got on, what they're struggling with. see what else there was. Yeah, Caribbean Spice isn't even there. Okay, now, this one here, the uh, construction ships, I definitely want to be destroying those. Uh, just go back to the seventh. We won't be able to destroy it in time. Okay, so next next target. This one does have a planetary administration center. This is good. Our agents are now working fairly well. We've now got the next level of um, basic diplomacy with the Boscarans. Well, this is beyond basic diplomacy, I think. This is outright aggression. And here comes the, the eighth. And I think we'll leave it here, guys. So um, thanks for watching. So we'll start the next episode, episode 21, with the uh, with the attack in the Kurilia system. So we, what we want to do is just er eradicate the Boscaran worlds, and then we'll take over these Artuk worlds. And they do have a lot of Boscarans on on the surface. So we will have to still do some uh, some attacks, but it won't be anything. It won't be dramatically bad for us. So. Uh, we're certainly going to be able to do what we want to do in through here. They're not going to be able to afford to really run their ships anymore. So they're uh, they're going to be struggling financially. Like they're going to be going backwards in a big, big way. So we've, by destroying their home world, uh, we've taken essentially all their money away. And to put that into perspective, if we lost our home world, that would be 33000 of the income. And we're going backwards <laughs> just, to get, just as a bit of perspective. So we're actually go, heading back. We're going backwards with what we're doing. And we're not doing even that badly in through here. So, in fact, we may have to have a bit of a look at this to see what's going on with our money. So our cash is very negative. Our cash flow isn't terrible. Private enterprise isn't super bad. I think it'll correct itself. I'm not sure why we've got so much loss there. I might have to have a look at that one anyway. Anyway, we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you then.